All right, now it's on to game two. Frog Detective 2, the case of the invisible wizard. Look at me. I am so sad he can't wear a hat because of the shape of his head. Okay, yeah. No, no, no. It, it, I, once I started it up, it was it was doing stuff. My HD60 shill shows up. New game. Are you guys ready for the invisible wizard? Whoa, look! I have a lantern now. Look at that. That gate. That confidence. Look, the picture's still there! Oh, I love it. Oh, click. I feel taller for some reason. Am I taller? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. Uh, the one at Warlock Woods, right? I hung up on him. <laughs> wow, I love this so much. Yeah. I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. Uh, that's understandable. <laughs> uh, what can you tell me about the new case? It's a doozy, detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Uh, they brought it back up. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, sorry. Anyway, Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea! Absolutely! But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed! What?! I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I I'm the detective. <laughs> I am aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. Ah, that was loud. And a wizard. <laughs> An invisible wizard. Cool. Um, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade, and the decorations, and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible. De-invisibled. Uh, visible. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, do you have uh, everything you need? Um, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. Of course. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, Supervisor. Good luck, Detective. How did you know it was there, Supervisor? I didn't tell you it was there. Or maybe that's just where it always is. Seriously, though, dance party. I wonder what we're going to end with this time. Ah, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. Got a magnifying glass. Hell yeah. Dance party was a good time. Off we go to meet the wizard. Whoa, what? <gasps> lobster cop. <laughs> Hello, lobster. Why did you just wink at me, lobster cop? What? <laughs> excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> what is happening? This is my game! I didn't see Lobster Cop in the title. Hi. Creeps you out? Is it that smile? Okay, you're just, I guess... Whoa, look at all those trophies over there! <laughs> it's the only super long, apparently. 
Ah, it's the famous frog detective. F famous? I I'm not famous. <laughs> Perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, uh, right here. Is that a threat? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Wow, he's a jerk already. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure is, little cleaning frog. And then I say, I am a crime solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. <laughs> wow. Uh, excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. Wow. Is, this, is that every cop? Is he the embodiment of every cop ever? Sometimes I forget to be polite or follow uh, de-escalating rules. If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop, because I'm not a jerk. Perhaps, but detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes, please. Tip number one, pay attention. <sighs> you should make sure you're looking at things and paying attention to words. Uh, yes, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. Even you! I will suspect myself much more from now on. <laughs> Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. <laughs> Unless he's a P.I. Yeah, true. <laughs> Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. Okay, that's not... I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep, there are stickers you can use, too. I bought them all with my crime-solving money. Cool! I'll let you get to it, detective. Head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, Lobster Cop! I mean, true, he might- oh god, <laughs> it's so creepy! That's a trash can with bananas around it. That's... he's, um, in a cave with some guys? flowers and stuff uh that's a a cat in a tree i guess you saved there's ghosts that's another ghost frogs who are those why don't i get a tiny hat i can wear why don't i have a sushi party oh. leave it in the background all right beth hmm which sticker should I pick? Where should they go? But I guess it kind of depends, Ellie. I'm not... I always thought detectives were kind of, like, higher up on the food chain because they had to deal with things you usually wouldn't run into. But... Or, or they actually had to, like, investigate stuff, whereas cops are generally just kind of there to slap charges on things. I don't know. Hmm, which stickers should I pick? And where should they go? No. Oh, this is... I get to decorate it with stickers. Space. Alligator. Bug. Me! Oh. Yeah. Um. There's an awful lot. Cactus! Everybody loves a good cactus. Carrots? Very healthy. Good for your eyesight. Banana! I don't want the boots, I want the banana. Apple, another spaceship, starfish, S socks, no, it's not much over here, car, another car, I'm running out of space, that's a big flower, magnifying glass,
Perfect. Another magnifying glass. Uh, hearts. Lipstick? I don't know about that. High heels? Bird! There's another apple. I thought there was only one. Spider! Uh, another, more stars. I don't, CDs, I guess. That guy. Okay, I'm done! <laughs> yeah, that's a good book. Sticky! <laughs> I got a notebook! Thanks for the stickers from your crime money. Oh, open your notebook with tab. My things, magnifier notebook, invisible wizard. Oh man, this game just got a lot. Look guys, we just leveled up our gaming. Okay, I guess we'll talk to Larry again. How's your book decorating coming along? It's right there on the desk, you know. I know, just taking my time is all. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding, I do have all day. Take as long as you need. Bye, Lobster Cop. It's me. Lobster Cop. Supervisor Penguin Man. Time to solve another mystery. I'm at the spooky minecart stop. Hello. In we go. Super Hot presents a game by Worm Club. With assistance from Film Victoria. Thank you, Film Victoria. Okay, now I gotta walk the rest of the way. No, no enchanted mine carts allowed past that point. Warlock Woods. Starring the detective, I love how it's just lounging there. <laughs> Susan, hi Susan. Ralph, oh, that was the name of my last dog. Mandy, Aardvark, Mary, Rhino, and several more characters. Oh. Uh, Frog Detective 2, the case of the invisible wizard. Thanks, Grace Bruxner. Thomas Bowker. Is it almost time? Ba -da 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 -da. Loading. <sighs> We're doing it, guys. Doing it. Also, I just realized, like, I know I have some gray hairs, but when the light, like, reflects off my hair, it makes it look like I have way more gray hair than I actually have. Why are there cups all over the ground? Hello? Oh, this must be because, yeah, the stuff got destroyed. Oh. Hi, Mandy. Oh, a zebra. Hello. What is all this? Are you running like a pawn shop? Oh, those are the pictures of the animals. Oh. I don't think I have money. Hey, the broom from the first game. <gasps> Look! It's the bug in the plant from the first game. Oh, there's, guys, there's callbacks. A star. Oh, the other oh, trophy. Toothpaste! Okay, that's actually, I love that. The fact that they have those little, ooh, what's this? That doesn't have a price on it. Not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Got a pie! Hell yes! My things, one lost pie. We must reunite this pie with its owner. Okay, um, okay, everybody has pictures of, oh, there's a balloon. Hi, Susan. Hello, bug. What's up, Ralph? Who lives here? Guess I can't go inside. Another pie. I'm not sure what, yeah. Okay, uh, two lost pies. Maybe I have to collect the pies for the, uh, the party. Two lost pies. Oh, oh, hello, a deer. Hi, Victor. Hi. Hello. Want to hop in? Uh, a, a little bit, actually. But I'm on a case. 
Oh, cool! I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? M maybe Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Cuz like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend Naughty. Oh, she's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus I heard there were gonna be delicious pies for the parade so the timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot, I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions. About the wizard. Did you know much about the invisible wizard before you came here? Nah, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I don't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time, they even threw me a parade. Uh, uh, okay, I take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Uh, Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Uh, were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So what am I supposed to do when people are boring? Uh, I'm not sure, but probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings though, did I? Well, I have to admit I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job, and I'm a frog, and I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one. You solved this crime already? Yeah, Ralph did it. How do you know? Um, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet, but it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive, the reason for destroying the parade. Oh, um, I think because he has an eye patch on. <sighs> I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now who's the rude one? This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. Not until I solve the mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? And get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. You could ask someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's nobody here. I am here. Right, there I go being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please, take one money as an apology. I got one money. Damn, I wish people gave me money for being rude to me. Then I'd be rich. Questions? Give the pie. Hmm. Hello, Victor, I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective, you may have to speak up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat a ground pie. I have made a mistake. I'd say maybe even two. Two mistakes? Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie and another mistake for giving me a pie that does not belong to you. That's right, detective. Though I am visiting from out of town, I know that this is one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours to give away, so I cannot accept it. Uh, you're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I am sorry and I am sorry. That's okay, detective, but I'll be watching you. You should return this pie to Mandy. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Wow. Gross! No! <laughs> One money. Victor. Motive. Hadn't eaten, could have been jealous parade. Something to eat. Wow. Oopsie. Oh, notes, more notes. Such a rude individual, perhaps only rude because of hunger, but maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. 
screw you, uh, Victor. I'll find you food that's not from the ground, I guess. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess I'll give Mandy back her pies. I don't think I can pick that. Okay. Oh, those are chips all over the ground. Mandy, I have pie. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you. I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective, are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Uh-oh? Uh I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky, which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but. First, I need to find all my pies. Uh, what happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying, I spent ages making them. Ah, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know about your pies. How many pies are missing? Do you need help finding your pies? Yes! Detective, seriously, I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yep. Thanks, I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. Uh, what were we talking about? My outfit? No, 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 before that. Pies! Right, you offered to help me pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Neat, thanks detective. Tell me what you want to know. About last night. Uh, were you, where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net, where magic happens, TM. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes. But you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with this blue dress I have. Wow, uh, cool. I know. I didn't win, though. Wait, who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. Sorry to hear it. How did you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off, but then I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary has taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw the mess in the morning. Interesting. Okay, let's give you the pies. Mandy, detective! I have found some of your pies. Wonderful, now there's only three left to find. I'll hop to it. Okay, th there's three more pies. Now let's add it. Mandy to the book. Mandy. Motive. Upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps? Take it out on parade? Help finding her five pies. Notes. Last night was on Whiz Bay. Someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Schooled me about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. I go back there. About over here. Hi. Pie. Pie! The lost pie! Got a lost pie. One lost pie. Need three more pies. Any more flower pies? Tree pies? Pie! 
It's a lost pie! Lost pie too. What if I try to leave? Will I get an achievement for that? I can't. Okay, never mind. Um, one more pie. Where would the last pie be? Pie, 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 pie. Pie? pie. I don't see any pie over here. Maybe the pie is inside. Hello, is anyone home? Sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Okay. Detective, we meet we need the final pie. Hmm. Where else could I find a pie, guys? Pie! Got the final pie! Okay, let's give her all of her pies and then get the clean pie to give to other guy. Three last pies. Man, I kinda want pie now. All this talk about pie. Mandy, I got your pies! Give the pies. I found all your pies! Mwah! All of them? Yeah, clean unstolen pie. He, he had to go like extra far with that one. I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow, you must have searched far and wide. I searched this general vicinity, yes. Wow, we. Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. I got one money. And a clean pie. I don't think you ever promised payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you a pie too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. You can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense, take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Oh, okay, sure, thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. Got a pie! It's no longer lost. It's probably not dirty either. Da 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 da. No lost pies, but one fresh pie. I don't know if you could call it fresh. Done. Oh, okay. Amazing baker. Take my. It is my pie, but now it will be your pie, Victor. Questions? Actually, let's ask about last night as well. Where were you when the parade was destroyed? Well, I had been swimming all day in Naughty's hot tub, so I was super wrinkly. Yep. And it was hard for me to get inside the house because of my wrinkly hooves. Uh-huh. So I waited for about half an hour for the wrinkles to de-wrinkle. Yep. And then I went inside to Naughty's house and snoozed on the couch all night. What time was that? All night! No, I mean, what time did you get back into Naughty's house? Before the parade was destroyed. It wasn't me. Probably wasn't me, I mean. Can't be sure. But 90% probability that it wasn't me. Ah, oh, okay, of course. You have pie. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is outdated. Victor, I am not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It is my favorite. You're right, it's retro, not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you from Mandy. It's not from the ground? Nope, Mandy gave me a fresh one. Seriously, score! Yep, please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing, and I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep, you have beautiful eyes. Oh wow, uh, thank you. It's true, and I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. You're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm, I have a spare party hat I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it? Alas, my head is simply too weird a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks! <laughs> I got a party hat that I can't wear. Update. No pie, but party hat. Done. <laughs> You're still rude, though. Well, you're already wearing a hat. Do, 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 do either of you need a party hat? I guess we'll talk with you. Hello. It's Naughty. Hmm. What? Huh? Who are you? 
Uh, the detective. Oh, I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No, but I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa! Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this, frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. Was it you that asked for me to come? No. I would have asked for Lobster Cop. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening. Oh, okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. Uh, about last night. I don't know if I like Naughty. Why can't you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh. But I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she is invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yep. And, uh... Uh, she's a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right, okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway... Tell me what you wanted. That's everything I already know. Oh, God, Naughty. So how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh... Oh, heck, how do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here, but that house has been empty for ages, and I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, she kind of came at a weird time of night, and I, well, I thought that she was a ghost. Oh. Yeah, it was a bit messy. Uh oh? I tried to vacuum her up. What? Uh, with a vacuum? I put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Uh, please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. But you should probably apologize. <laughs> okay, sorry, detective. I mean, to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. She hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear, I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. If only I had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh no. Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. Will do. Do you uh, have any more questions? Mm. I think I'm, I'm... I gotta find a rug for this lady. Boom. Naughty. Motive. Try to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history. Needs a rug. Notes. Thinks I can read minds. I can't. The mayor? Hired a cool band to play the parade. Attacked the wizard. Yeah, you're seeming... You're kind of suspicious there, Naughty. Um, maybe this guy, like, sells a rug. I only have two money, though. And he doesn't appear to have any rugs. I'll worry about that later. Let's go talk to Susan. Susan, what's what's your deal, Susan? Oh my stars, it's you! It's me! The famous lobster cop! I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh, no, I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. I am not Lobster Cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. 
Was Lobster Cop not available? Uh, unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that w how that worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though, to remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. Okay, about the wizard. Hello, cat. We're, we're on the second game now. This is actually a uh, frog... Detective 2, the case of the invisible wizard, but it's okay. How are you doing? Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me, right. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade and I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. So you're fine with her moving into town? Absolutely! That old house has been empty for years and it's really nice someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice uh, soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Let's take your time all building. Oh, no, that's fine. That's awesome. Hey, as long as you're having a good time. Uh, sure is. I put up a sign made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker, yet. But I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggled to understand why someone would knock it down. I feel so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation, for sure. Some people are protective of their communities and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make places better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully it's a, just a misunderstanding or mistake. I like to believe that people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you. Especially you. Especially me? Oh, no. Sorry, not sure why I said that, but you're not off the hook just yet. Hook? That's it! Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, uh, okay. I'll do my best. Question me all you like, okay. Um. Did I already ask about it last night, or did I ask something else? Oh, no, I asked about the wizard. Also, just a second, I gotta... Uh, update it so it's actually saying that it's the invisible wizard. Where were you the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colors myself and everything. Though, uh, I'll admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Well, why is that? I get so distracted by the wool, it's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big nuisance. I understand. But I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think about it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. Yeah, kitty playing with her. I know, imagine that. Okay, well, we're done. Thanks. She needs a hook. We need a rug for the other lady. Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign destroyed and destroyed the parade out of embarrassment. Something to fix her sign. Insists she's not suspicious. This makes her more, much more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. Saw a van near the entrance. Okay. So, so far we only... Oh, we have three more people to talk to. Okay, well, I'm going to talk to Ralph, and then we'll talk with her and then him. Hello, bug. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. 
Why are you yelling? Oh, I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Uh, are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yes! Weird! I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes! But you're so small! I'm not that much smaller than you. I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? Yeah, about the wizard. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. Nothing against the wizard, but, uh... I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But I would really like my own home. Oh! I've been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. Uh, this house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could just renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one downstairs. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. Okay. About your eye. Wonder if I have to buy everything from Zebra Man. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh! It'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That should make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Uh, kind of. Detective, I don't want to get into this too much, but I watched a movie last night about pirates, and I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal to have video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigation series. Yeah. Anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night. Uh, that's where I was. And for that reason, I have decided to wear an eye patch. Okay. I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Okay. Thank you. I guess that's a good enough reason to wear an eye patch. Ralph. Motive. In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus? Needs building supplies. Loves pirates. Eye patch is cosmetic only. A private boy wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small. I am not. <laughs> oh, I am not. I'm normal frog size. Okay. Um. Hello, you. Carlos, a customer. Welcome to Carlos's all the things you could need shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop. That's me. <laughs> How cool is that? The shop has my name in it. So cool. My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Uh, what's your name? Crime? Oh, no. Uh, I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name, though. More of a title? No, oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool, I'm jealous. Thanks! Here in Warlock Woods, we're all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a societal construct. We have rejected it. That's why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits among other things. Wow, that's great. My office neighbor, Lobster Cop, has a picture of himself right above his desk. Yeah, you know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck, I've been a fan forever. You know, he solved the mystery of the haunted island recently. Oh, uh, I don't think... It was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular-sized lobster. 
Uh, no. Larry is a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh well, agree to disagree. No. I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Hmm, that's really cool. Thanks. So you're like the second best detective, I suppose. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay, what would you like to know? The night in question, okay. Where were you last night? Just here, in my shop. Uh, what about when you closed up? Hmm? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. You ever take breaks? Mm, sometimes, but I really like it here in my shop. That's why I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too. Although I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Uh, nothing particularly interesting. Why? Uh, the crime. Hmm? Hmm? I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. Would you like to know? Yeah, the wizard. You share a house with Ralph? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. I'm like, Ralph, just like, tell him he can't live there anymore because he's already living in his shop. So take the house for yourself. What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door? Wait, really? Someone moved in? Uh, yeah. That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? The parade that everyone has been prepping for? Wow, how nice, can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who is the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right, okay. Uh, oh dear, the party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has a party hat, or has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no, how embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. Do you think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right, uh, what should I do? Don't stress, I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. I just happen to have a party house. Par party house, party hat. Oh my gosh, thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Fortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. Give the party hat. Carlos, I have something for you. No way! It's a party hat! No way! Yes way! That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem, and you solved it. Just like a true detective. Ah. Thanks. You made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. A party house, yeah. Uh, no, that's okay. I'd totally be down with that. I'd just be like, i just tell my roommates, like, don't worry about the noises. No way! Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. I got one money. What am I gonna do with all this money? Thanks! Oh, I also found this rug out back. Not sure what to, what use it is, but I figure you're good at solving thing, these types of puzzles. I got a rug. I'll give the rug to the lady. Yes way. I'll find a use for it, thanks. Best of luck solving the mystery, detective. Da -da -da -da. Three money. No party hat, but rug. Let's see, what, is, what do we got to say about Carlos? Bonk. Motive. Could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. Needs, party hat, done. Notes, busy boy, 
Works really hard. Didn't know anything had happened. Seems stressed out about parade. Doesn't have a hat. Oh no, I don't have a hat either. I could probably borrow one, it's fine. Am I even invited to the parade? I hope so. I'm totally invited to the parade. I am the parade. Pardon me, bug. Okay, Naughty, I got your rug. Give rug. Great news! What is it? I found you a rug! What? Holy guacamole! This is great news! Thanks for tracking it down. This should do the trick. Wow, looks just like new. Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. Wh why? One guess. They're fish? Bingo! Wait, do you mean to tell me... You got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep, they're on their way. Wow, I saw them live once and was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. Can't wait for the parade to begin. Better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh, I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. Got building stuff. Let's go give that to Ralph for renovations. Plus one money. Oh no, that's okay. It was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I insist. Wow, thanks. More money, more money. Guys, I'm making so much money. This is more money than I make in real life. Just think of all the things I could buy with four money. Done. Long snoot. <laughs> That's all I added was long snoot. Okay, you know what? From the side, that snoot is fairly long. Ralph, I got your building supplies. Look, we are going, we are speed running this game. Give building supplies. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exciting news. I'd love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Of course. It, oh, I bet he's gonna give me a hook. He's gonna give me a hook because he loves pirates so much, so he's gonna have a hook. Come on, I, he's gonna give me the hook. Excellent, thank you so much. I know, and the party has, it's beautiful, it's perfect. Of course, I must pay you for this. Ah, oh, there's no need, really. Shh, I won't hear it. Please take a money. Please give me a hook, I swear. If you're a pirate fanatic and you don't have a hook, thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of honorary pirate. Wow, really, me, a, a pirate? Yes, you have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook, I knew it! Got a hook. Wow, what do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want, or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet! What? What? <laughs> what? Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. All good, enjoy the hook. Daddy Ralph, oh no. Okay, Susan, I got your hook. What are you gonna give me? What does Rhino Lady want? Hook. I don't know, <laughs> the best kind. I'm back, you're back. Yep, I found you a hook. Oh my stars, thank you. I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. Bonk. Where did the hook, where's the hook? I would like to repay you for this hook. Uh, no, that's okay, I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding, our society is really progressive and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. Oh, it's fairly simple, but beautifully decorated at least. I have a phone too. 
Great, I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thanks, Susan. Ba -da -da -da. Hook gone. Some Yay! Aw, who is that? Your son? Vacation. Also you again. Bed. She really likes hearts. Phone. Let's use the phone. Hmm, who should I call? Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no! I don't have any friends! Oh, I, I thought he was going to have some witty comment. Like, oh. No. Okay, well. Hello, wizard. I know, too real! This is so sad. La! Huh? Oh, la la la! H hello? Hello! Frog! H hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. N nice to meet you. You too, did you like my song? Uh, yep. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Hmm, maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yep, I'm why everyone soundproofed their houses. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. <laughs> oh, Mary. I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow, that's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Uh, yes, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper. Welcome to my hair salon. Snip, snip. That would be one hundred money. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Oh, cool. Can you question me? Uh, do you mind if I... Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, boy, I love questions. Okay, about the wizard. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. I, I was asking about the wizard. Oh, yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? Uh, I'm a detective. Right, this is part of the questioning, right? I yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so I didn't do any crimes or anything. And I have the right to remain silent. Yeah, but you want to remain silent? Uh, literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, uh, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh, boy, I love questions. Oh, God. That last night. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh boy, yeah, uh, sucks that the parade was destroyed. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, we're doing questioning. Hmm. What was I doing? N not much, just singing outside. Huh? You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective. Have you heard of extortion? I yes That's great news! Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. What? I don't think that's legal. I'm above the law. Oh. Uh? Why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggywood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting.
I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have many other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money from me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La. Uh, what will you give me in exchange? Information. Uh, what kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that we're, they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. Eh, it's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. Yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Oh boy, I love questions. Okay, bye. I don't think I have five money. I think I only have four money. Wait, do I have five money? Hi, Mary. Hey, detective. How's that extortion going? I think I've got your five money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in town. Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his number. Uh, may I have it? Absolutely. Thanks for giving me this money. I'm really excited to visit Froggywood. I'm excited for you. <laughs> Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. Okay, wow, I just got extorted. I did have five money, dang. Phone number. Let's see what we have to say about Mary. Motive. Perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her. Needs. Five money. Done. Notes. Sings really loudly all the time. Everyone soundproof their houses. Wants to be a big star. Is extorting me. I've never been extorted before. What a thrill. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I got extorted, guys, but it's okay, because it's moving the story along. Let's call the postman. Mysterious number. Barney, the postman! Hey, it's Barney. I have you on speaker. Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Um, Lobster Cop. Wow, really? No, I was tricking you. Rats. Who is this? Noodles? Noodles! Is it... I wonder if he's related to Noodles. I'm the detective. I'm calling about an incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do, do what? Uh, whatever you're calling about. It wasn't me. Are you sure? What, what what did I do? Last night, someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for the new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told that you were in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything, if, uh, if that's what you're asking. Was just delivering a parcel. Who were you delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. Huh, I don't think there's anyone in this town named Lola. It must have been someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Maybe the invisible wizard's name is Lola. Hmm. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh yeah, I delivered a lot of parcels from them. It was from the WizBay.net headquarters. That sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there, but this wasn't for her. You know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two? A, a pair of shoes. Did you get a good look at them? It was pretty dark. I have no recollection of really seeing anyone. Not even a face. Hmm, weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. I'm pretty stumped on this case, Barney. You know if there were any clues left behind? A signature on the delivery slip or something? Uh... I didn't get them to sign it, but I remember something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they stumbled off before I noticed. The entrance to the woods, you say? I'll check it out. 
Thanks, Barney. Remember, respect your lo local postman. Barney. Motive. Accidentally crashed his van into the decorations, drove away without realizing? Cool guy. Didn't see who's delivering to. Lola. Responsible driver. Had me on speaker. I should search near the Warlock Woods entrance for what dropped. Yeah, he did. See, look at that. Speaker phone in the car, please. <gasps> Spectacles. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm, they're glasses. Got some glasses. Oh, they have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. Well, this is my only clue left. I should try and return these to the wizard. She should be in the old house near Carlos's shop. Hell yeah. I tried the door before, but nobody answered. Maybe she'll answer now that I have clues. I know, it is very good. <laughs> I think I was actually saying that when I ki was killing a chicken, because, you know, you get chicken breast from them. Chicken meat. I could be wrong, though. Hello, is anybody home? I found these glasses. <gasps> Loading. This is, man, you know what? I've moved before. Even I don't have this many boxes when I move. This is, this place is a lot more spacious inside than I thought. God, I would love to live here, but where do you poop? Mm. Oh yeah, which, oh no, I have, yeah, I have an Xbox Game Pass. That's how I was playing Andromeda and some other games. Well, I guess I'll go talk to the uh, Invisible Wizard. I wasn't sure if there was stuff I could pick up. But there's an awful lot of pies just around. Maybe she wrecked it. Are you just that shy? Are you really invisible? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's a crab over there. Oh, there you go. Nice crab! I like the crab. Unpacking. I know, um, Foe played it and she's she's been loving it. Hmm? Okay, come on. I bet that she's over there now. Ah ha ha! Look. Wait, unpack- Oh, it's on Game Pass? Oh, I didn't even know it was on Game Pass. Dang. Well, cool. I actually- Because I bought it for a friend. But now that I know it's on Game Pass, oh, I could totally just, like, download it, like, immediately. Uh, the new game Unpacking is apparently on it. But yeah, Foe, like, loves it because it's just- It's kind of like a house flipper in the way that you just kind of, like, move stuff around. Oh, no, look, another crab. Oh, I can walk on these boxes. Fish! Magnet! Huh? Ah! Uh, what is with those eyes? Hello? Yeah. Invisible wizard. Ah! Who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are, so solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Oh, I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. I bet it was you that did it. However, I've noticed that your house is littered with the decorations. Where were you last night? I was on Whiz Bay. I got some new shoes. I picked the express delivery. 
They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola. Yes. Start playing a lot. Oh, yeah? Nice. Back to my alibi. I went to pick up my shoes in the delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh, oh, I bet she dropped her glasses, couldn't see, and like ran into everything. And that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Uh, perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Um, yeah. Who? Uh, guy. Huh? Evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy. Evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy? Yeah. Are you making this up? No, evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. Where can I contact evil guy? Oh, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and is not available right now. Uh, is that so? Or uh, ever even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Case solved, we did it! Well done, wow! Too bad he's not able to be apprehended, but at least we can continue with our lives. Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes. I'm really sorry, it was me, it was an accident, I swear! You destroyed the parade, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't know the parade was for me! That's so nice! And I ruined it! When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home! I was bumping into everything! What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me, so I ate those, and then I just hid! Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it! I only just moved in and already made big mistake! I'm a very shy lady, detective! I make myself invisible so nobody can seal me! That must have been why nobody saw you last night! Yes, I suppose. Can you become not invisible? Uninvisible? The, 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 visible? If you insist. <gasps> Is the invisible wizard another frog? Ta da! <gasps> You're a frog like me! Yes, I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. And I will do it anyway. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you were revealed to be a lizard. Oh no. Okay, so you've just been revealed, okay? Pretend. Okay, it's me, uh, a lizard? Wow, so you're not an invisible wizard after all. You're an invisible lizard! Heh. Yeah, uh, it was a good joke. I thought so. Detective, are you gonna tell everyone? Hmm. I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they'll be upset. I think they'll forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell them that it was evil guy? But that's a fib. A white lie, perhaps. But who is it harming, really? Evil guy. Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. Just like in my favorite episode of Paroi. It's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. Okay. I found Lola. Lola's a frog. Motive. Lost her glasses. Totally still did the crime. Not a motive, but still the culprit. Needs glasses. Done. Notes. Shy lady. A frog! Just moved in. Made a big mistake. Lied about having a nemesis called Evil Guy. Wants me to tell the town it was Evil Guy. <gasps> Oh no, we must make the decision. I think I'm gonna tell the truth though. Hello. Hi, my name is Lola. Hi Lola. I am a frog, just like me. We're so glad you could make it Lola. I'm sorry there's been so much commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. Somebody destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. We're sorry that somebody destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. Well, detective, have you solved the mystery? Dad, no, I can't lie to Dad. You can't lie to Dad. I hope it wasn't me. I'd be sure surprised if it was any of us. 
I wouldn't looking at you, Ralph. What? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you? I just don't trust that guy. Rude. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. Go ahead, detective. Lola did it. Well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? It was... Lola. What? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought on Whizbay. Oh my gosh, those are the ones I really wanted. They look amazing. Lola can't see without her glasses, so she had a lot of trouble getting home last night. She bumped into just about everything. I'm so sorry, I feel awful. I realized what happened when lots of chips stuck to me, or when I had lots of chips stuck to me. I ate them, and they were delicious. The parade was for me all along, and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your reaction, so she hid in her house out of shame. Oh, Lola, it's okay. You should have told us. We completely understand. Yeah, Mary destroys stuff all the time. Oh, uh, yeah, I really do. Plus, Naughty tried to vacuum you up, so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. <laughs> We're all really excited you're here, Lola. We don't need decorations anyway. I really thought Ralph did it. Victor! Man, just get Victor out of here. Victor, apologize to Ralph. Ralph, I'm sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Eh, not as bad as my first impression. What did you do? I ran over Mary by accident! <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that was really painful. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Should we get this party started? What do you think, Lola? See, Lola, you only, like, kind of ruined your own party. Um, Barney committed, like, almost manslaughter. Or rhino slaughter. Yes, please. Is it party time? I think it's party time. This one felt longer than the first one, but we only took about 20 more minutes. Oh. This is a lot louder than the other part, so it's kind of bleeding onto the mic a little bit. Oh jeez, Mandy is going nuts over there. Oh, my hat! <laughs> this is why I can't wear hats! It's okay, it's on my eye. Look at, look at us go. Why is it, her hat's on her mouth! Ah, oh, man, thank you, fish man. Thanks, super hot team. Man, Mandy is going nuts. It's okay, see, everybody forgave her. Always tell the truth, guys. Just realized that Carlos is wearing like a onesie. Yay! I wonder if that other character that I saw at, in the first game was hiding somewhere in this game. No, thank you! Let's see, what do we got now? Loading. Okay, because there are three games. I do not own the third game, but I think I will probably own it very soon. Snitch! I got the achievement for being a snitch! I'm telling the truth! A little bit later. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, the party! The party picture. Oh, look at It's great. I love this so much. This is from the first game, guys. We had a dance party. The second game and then this was oh, the, oh that's when i was at the concert that's where they came from and look my notebook with all the stickers i put on it frog detective crime solving agency frog detective speaking how may i solve your mystery detective 
Yeah, I figured out the mystery. Okay, so what, what happened, Beth, was that the culprit was the invisible wizard who turned out to be a frog lady. She won the shoes that Mandy was trying to get. She went out to get the delivery and lost her glasses, so she bumped into everything on her way back to the house, and then she got scared that everybody was going to hate her, so she hid in her house. But we talked to everyone, and they all loved her, and then we had a party. We had the party. Supervisor. It's me, the supervisor. I am aware. Yeah, really, exactly. I was like, aw, that's so cute. Great job on solving the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. Yeah, the mysteries I solve are never what they seem. Always, it's always a misunderstanding or an accident. Nobody is ever malicious on purpose in the mysteries. Yeah, Ralph is apparently our dad, because you're just like, because he's like, I, do what you want. I'm not your dad. And then um, the frog was just like, not yet. And he's just like, what? And he's like, I really don't know why I said that, but okay. I'm so glad that crime isn't real. Uh, didn't you get extorted earlier? Oh yeah, I also got extorted. Yes. I think that's a crime. I suppose that crime is real after all. Your office is called Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Yes. Detective, why do you believe that crime isn't real? I was simply exaggerating. Plus, despite my job title, I never really seem to be solving crimes. That's going to change in a moment, I think, detective. Oh, super duper. I just got a call about a doozy of a case, detective. That sounds exciting. It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. Oh, like who? I'm going to send Lobster Cop to help you with the case. R really? A Lobster Cop handles such advanced cases. Won't I just slow him down? Nonsense, detective. You've shown you're a very capable mystery solver. I think you're in the running to be the new number one. You're making me blush. You'll be a-okay. So, uh, where am I headed next? I can't say over the phone. It's too sensitive. Wow! Head to the train station. I've left a ticket for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, detective. Do you think you can handle it? I can handle anything! Can I, though? Oh. Loading. After the detective has left. First thing I think, Lola's like way at the end. It's hard to see her. What's going on? My notebook. Is somebody gonna steal my notebook? <gasps> Who is that? Whose hand is that? That's my notebook. I put stickers on it. Oh no. Loading. Okay. What? Er Later at the station. Okay. Not quite done yet. This is getting intense, guys. Ticket. Number one. That's a <laughs> that's a worm. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. That's a very short train. Uh oh, the desert? This music, though. Oh, man. The detective will return in.
corruption at Cowboy County. If it's to you, you might like it. Yeah, do it. This is the end of the game, actually. Technically, it's the start of the third game. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, these are so good. And I love the fact that they're just long enough to like you get into them and you do stuff and then you're like, OK, I'm done. Like a nice one and a half hour chunk of time where I can get something done, you know, instead of 43 hours of one uh, freaking Ace Attorney game. I cannot believe it took me 43 hours to beat Spirit of Justice. It just makes me mad. Yeah, we did it, guys. Found the invisible wizard.